Hello everyone, SQX here, and welcome to Horror Week, or, I mean, I know it's kind of in the middle of the week, but I mean, these past couple few days, um, we're going to be basically playing some horror games, um, to check out, um, from itch, uh, itch.io, game link will be in the description. So if you guys want to play the game yourself, just go in the description below. Uh, anyways, this horror game is called Microbio Sector. I think that's how I pronounce it, Microbio Sector. Um, what I read from online, it's basically you're coming at, um, you're feeling out a job as a microbiologist or something. Like you're using like a microscope to look at creatures and stuff. Um, so let's just start this. So yeah, we basically have to... Loud noises and jump scares. Okay. I'm ready to crap myself. So first day on the job, not much information was given about it, but you really need the money. Okay. Man, the sensitivity is bad. Hold on, let me go to uh, raise this up here. I bring the dark and brightness down a little bit just to make it a little more spooky. Okay. Was I supposed to leave? Guess we could get off here. I saw someone walking down there. Okay. What are these? You okay? I saw someone walk up in here. Dude, where did that guy go? Do, am I seeing something? I swear I saw someone walk into here. Okay, let's close the door. Oh, I guess not. I guess we can't. Okay, so this is where we're doing our studies here. Okay, we got instructions. Okay, welcome to your first day as a life form researcher. Okay, we're doing research. What's that sound? Sounds like a video VHS plane or something. Okay. Anyway. Welcome to your first day as a life form researcher. We are thrilled to have you join our team. Below are your tasks and instructions for operating the equipment. Press the enter button to start the conveyor belt. At least I think that's no enter enter button is the opposite direction, but the arrow button, which is this right here, start the conveyor belt. To pick up the object that requires research and place the object on the platform with the cross. Okay, so this is where the microbiology comes from. Or the material, whatever you want to call it. Comes down, we grab it, and then we place it here. Okay. Scan the object using the scan button. Which is... Where is that? I don't even see that anywhere. There's a rotation button. Where do you see a freaking... I don't see a button for oh, some floppy disk right here. And there's a running button which isn't good. Where do you... I don't see no scan button. 
What's it supposed to be under this? Okay, so just see if we can uh, rotate it. Okay. You use the, looks like a fork or something, to remove or put on the glass cover. Glass cover. Okay. You use the I button to lower the micro microscope for a closer examination of the object. Each life form has a code. Type the code into the keypad, keypad after scanning the object. If you don't see the life form in our system, type in 0000 on the keypad instead. Pick up the object again and place it back on the conveyor belt. Now press the enter button again to send the object to the next researcher. Okay. So these are the different codes for the different biology. Okay. This one that looks like a star. Amoeba australis. Amoeba australis are small translucent organisms shaped like water droplets with a mic or with a bioluminescent bio star shaped structure inside. Okay, these fascinating protozoans glow gently and are typically found on plant surface surfaces in most moist, humid environments. Man, I can't talk. These presence or their presence indicate a healthy organic rich environment or habitat. Okay, so we got some star looking thing. Um, we can go through them as we as we grab them, I guess. Um so I guess we go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm sorry, I am mess messing with my finger here. I got a freaking hangnail. All right. <clears throat> so our first object is okay. We got some blue octopus-looking thing here. Ah, there's the buttons for us to see. Okay, first let's figure out what this is. It looks like this, maybe? Or it could be that? No, that's not it. I don't think so. Pretty sure it's this. L Luminifera... Lumin... Okay, Luminifera, Luminifera, Philomorphus, Philomorphus. That is really confusing to say. More commonly known as phosphor tendrils, or we'll just call it that, are slender, glowing tendrils that emit a bright green light. These tendrils are typically found growing on dead trees and bark, where they anchor themselves onto the decaying wood. Eerie luminous cream. Okay, well that says it's supposed to be green. This does not look green. Take a little uh, closer look here. Guess you can move it around. I mean, it's mostly blue and stuff. It's even got these little uh, things on here. Pulsating green things. Okay. Still looks blue. Okay, what's this? Has like a hole at the tops here. They look like little tubes. Let's see. Yeah, they all have little tube tube things on them. Okay. Okay, what does that fork thing do? Cover glass. Ah, oh, so it takes that off. I don't know if we should be doing that though. Okay, it gives us a better look at what we're looking at here, though. But it's obviously blue with some 
growing stuff on it. Let's uh, get rid of that, that back on. Okay. So I don't think it's this. Is a species of fungus characterized by its unique rating spore pattern. Okay, with... Uh, the image displays the distinct silker structure of the spore... Spore... Sporangarium. How the hell do you say, say these words? Which exhibits a sunburst-like appearance with elongated stradions emitting from the center. These fungal species belongs to the Micrallis order and is commonly found growing out of stems from plants and flowers. Okay, I think that's what we're looking at actually. So it might not be the th blue thing, but the thing that's actually on top of them. Unless it's this. is a recently discovered organism known as translucent for its translucent blue growths that infect animals and plants. Feature elongated tentacle like structures that draw nutrients from their hose. Infection leads to rapid, unpredictable mutation in the hose. Okay, so that's definitely not safe. Um, I don't think that's that though. It doesn't look like it. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's. We're look looking for this because that's what it looks like. So that's uh, it's off as well. Because if you look here, we can uh, zoom into these. Um, and they look exactly like that sunflower, uh, sun looking things. Oops, wrong button. So I definitely think it's that. Let's put in 0214. Oh, wait, we're supposed to scan it too. I forgot about scanning it. Is it supposed to give us some sort of image or something? So what's the point of doing a scan? Let me try that again. What's the point of a scan if it's not showing me nothing? Oops. Okay, I guess we try entering the, the code that we saw. 0214. What's the point of scanning something if it doesn't seem to do anything? It scans it and it puts it through here, but it doesn't seem to do much. Okay, I guess we just put our code in and try. 0214. Zero two, one, four. Is that correct? Pick up the object and you place it back on the room. Type the code into a keypad after scanning the object. If you don't see a life form in our system, type this is okay. Guess we just put you back on here. Hopefully I did it right. Oh, I just realized there's a camera right there watching us. Okay. Let's do our next organism here. Looks like we're looking at a sunflower here. Let's do a quick scan. I don't get a point of scan though. Okay, let's take a little look here. Whoa, it's way zoomed in. Okay, so we got a flower here, some rocks at the top. Oh, there's something here. Oh, it's a blue star. Is there any more? I guess there's only one on top of it. Trying to see if there's any more. Okay, yep, there's one right there. 
Dude, this is really cool. This reminds me of biology class. I could press the right button, though. Guys, so we already know what this is. This is definitely the, the first one. The MOBA Astralis. What keeps making that freaking sound? 8283 8283 Thank you. Like that. Oh, I just realized it's putting the numbers on the actual uh right here on this thing. Uh that top right there. Okay, this looks like a piece of Arc or something. <clears throat> Just do a quick scan. Still don't get why we. What's the point of scanning? Let's turn it around here so we can get a good look. Right there. Okay. Shoot, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Let's zoom out here. Okay. Okay, we got a piece of bark here. I don't really see much. Except there's something green here. Ah, it's that. There's a... Green pulsating things. They look weird. Okay. That was this one. Blowing, uh, they emit bright green light. It's only found growing on dead trees and bark, which is what this is. Okay. Applications in natural lighting and bioluminescent bio research. I want to take a closer look at this. You get a better look here at what we're looking at. Looks like the Matrix. Alright, that's good for now. Okay, um, take that. Pretty sure we already scanned it. We just gotta input the code now, which is 2917. 2917. Thank you. Go. Next one. Got some blue looking here. Oh, it's that blue thing. I can already tell it's this one right here. Known for its true translucent blue. Growths that infect animals and plants. Okay, so we definitely don't want to take the glass off or it's gonna possibly infect us. So let's just do a quick look here. Towards the top. It is beautiful, that's for sure. That is a beautiful looking uh, organism there. It's pretty obvious what it is though. Okay, scan it. Oh wait, we're supposed to take this off. Oh, hold on. I think we might have to take this off and then scan it. I think I was supposed to take the glass off and then scan it. Uh, put the glass back on. This is 9487. 9847. Thank you. Oh, that is loud. This is lunch. Take one and pass the rest along. You want me to eat this? How am I supposed to eat it? 
Um, how do you put? How much? How does my pussy get? Thanks, I guess. Okay. Where am I supposed to go? Can I? Is there no outside for me to eat? Oh, I can eat right here. I didn't even realize there was a room in here. What is this goop? Mmm. Tastes very vegetable-y. Not that bad, actually. Not too bad. Why'd they close the door on me? You close the door. Oh, okay, there it goes. Okay, back to our, uh, back to our work here. Um, I do gotta pause for a second, though. I gotta take my dog outside. And, uh, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Hopefully y'all didn't miss me too much. Alright. What is with the light flickering? Foreshadow. Maybe. Alright, let's go to the next one. Why did you give me a stop sign? Very interesting. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at this. See what this cost possibly could be. Okay, so far I don't really see nothing in this rock. All I see is all rock and a stop sign. So far, I don't see anything. Let's give it a little bit of a rotation here. See if there's anything on this side. Oops, wrong button. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Okay. Let's see here. There's nothing on top. Oh, here we go. Uh, I think it's one of the this one. A ty Tyrophagus who tr what the fuck? Okay, I don't know how to say this. Mold mites are tiny translucent mites that thrive in high humidity environments. They are often found in areas with mold or decaying organic material. Mold mites feed on fungi and mold, making them common in damp or water damaged uh, spaces. While generally harmless, their presence can in indicate underlying moisture issues and contribute to allergic reactions to sensitive individuals. Okay, so it's not too bad. We can take the glass off. Unless we got really bad allergies. Crap, didn't mean to do that. Just want to take a look here. Let's zoom into these little suckers. Look at them. They're Definitely that, I believe. Let's take a look here. Yeah, those are definitely it. Alright, let's get rid of this. Take our scan real quick. Okay, put the glass back on. And what's the number? 0042. 0042. Nice. Next one, please. Oh, we got mushroom. A blue mushroom. Okay, let's see what's on this thing in here. It keeps making that sound. Okay, so we got blue mushroom. Let's see what this is about. Yep. 
Let's zoom out here. Oh, you got some more of that yellow stuff. Yep, some more of that uh, pulsating yellow stuffy. First one that we found. Okay, that was pretty simple. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. We'll do our scan real quick. How was that noise? What was that? Hopefully they're not really dangerous, are they? Okay, I guess it's that's not really putting us in danger. Zero two one four. Zero two one four. That there. Next. Is this a giant rusted gear? We got some rusted metal. Okay. Interesting. Let's take a look. Oh, I see little ticks. I think those are ticks. Now look at those little bastards. Those little bastards. Freaking fast as hell, too. Okay. I'm pretty sure I know what those are. Right here. Tell me known as rust mites. Okay, rust mites are tiny mites characterized by their reddish colored bodies and eight legs. These mites are typically invisible to the naked eye, though fully grown specimens may appear as small red dots. Rust mites are often found on metallic surfaces where rust is present, as they fade on oxidized metal. The presence of rust mites is a, high, uh, a sign of high humidity and ongoing metal degradation. Clearly. Let's take this up. Hopefully none follow me. Take a quick scan. Five two nine zero. Five two nine zero. Yeah. Next one. It's a pretty cool job, not gonna lie. What is this? What the heck is this? Some octopus looking blue thing. I don't know if I want to open it. Plus, if you look at it, there's some, like, blue liquid on the bottom. I don't know if we want to open this one up. What the hell? It freaking escaped! How the hell? I told you it was live something. Oh, God, now it's breaking shit. Oh, we got no power. This is not good. Uh, sir? Oh, no. I'm gonna get attacked by a blue monster. Reminds me of that blue jelly from Spongebob. Please don't come after me and kill me. Oh, God, he went in one of these cells. Hey, you all right in here? I just want to check up on you. Oh, this is where the power is. Okay, we have restored power. Why? How didn't you know to turn the power off though? Can I? Can I leave? Oh my god, I actually can. Oh, and I don't want to actually leave though. Let's uh go back to our job here. Nothing to see here, folks. Just a little bit of, uh, something escapey. Oh, I guess we can't go back. Oh, well, I guess we do leave. Let's go ahead and get the heck out of here. Uh, 
That was creepy. Oh no. All of them went in through here. Can't open it though. Oh no. What the fuck was that? Hello? Sir? Are you okay? Please don't come out at me. Oh, you're alive. You're moving. Sir, oh, he went. <laughs> oh my god. The creature lights onto your face, and as your vision blurred, you felt your body begin to change. Fuck, that made me jump. Okay, well, I guess that's the end for, th for this game. Uh, thank you, Max Ro Roberg, for creating this. This was pretty cool. <laughs> I wish I could create a game like this. That would be so fun. That made me jump, though. That was pretty fun, though. Even though it scared the crap out of me, it was pretty freaking fun. We are doing some biology, looking at organisms and stuff. That was fun, guys. Scared the crap out of me at the end. Um, that's going to be it for today, guys. This was micro something, whatever. I'll leave it in the description below. Hope you all enjoyed. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.